Hi everyone, this is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 18th of April. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you today. I'm using the Toth Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what the energy is about. So we have the Nine of Wands, Strength, and we have the Eight of Discs, Prudence, and then we have the Fool in Reverse. Okay, so first of all, the Nine of Wands, Strength. Usually this is a card where um, someone has just overcome the worst, has really left the worst behind them. And in this deck, it really implies the same thing. It's that using your power and standing on your own two feet, looking at the future and looking what you want to overcome and how to get there, gives you the strength to actually keep moving and uh, to take bumps and bruises in their stride as they appear. But the goal is the ultimate target. And what's interesting on each one of these arrows is that they've got a moon at the end. And each one of these arrows is like, I am shooting forward despite fear that may hold me back. So you're really focused on getting somewhere today. There may be some anxiety or fear floating around in the um, atmosphere. That may be something that you're aware of, but you're really focused on progressing, on getting somewhere in your life. Wands is also the suit of life purpose and passion. So you've chosen something that you want to achieve. You're moving closer towards achieving that, and that's good and right, and that's what you should keep doing. The next card is the Eight of Discs, and the Eight of Discs is Prudence. So Prudence is wisdom and making good discerning decisions in your practical life. So if you were to harvest this tree and pull all of these flowers off, then you'd have to choose which ones are good and worth keeping and which ones are not good and not worth keeping. They look, they all look good um, on this tree. We've got the sign of Virgo here, which is about absorbing information, making your own meaning out of that information, and then making a decision. So we've got your personal strength, and we've got the sun up here, we've got the sun up here. So what's important today and what's elevated is your identity and you. So you're in the spotlight. It may feel like a self-conscious day in many ways. You're going somewhere, but there may be some worry or concern involved. You don't have to be as concerned because you're being hypervigilant here with the eight of discs and you're able to look at information clearly break it down and make sense of it in a way that's helpful to you we've also got um, the positive energy of discs which is about hard work and being productive and getting things done this tree in itself is blossoming and is offering something that is of value so you can work towards things in terms of your career, particularly. Finally, we've got the Fool in reverse. The Fool is zero. It's the first or last card of the Major Arcana, and it's an idea coming into reality, so something being conceived for the first time, and then really just wanting to move ahead with that. And you can see the sun is down here. It's in the position of his root chakra when the fool is upright. And the root chakra has to do with earth. So it's taking an idea and applying it to the real world and then using the strength to try and create something. You can see these spirals. It's almost like he's sending off this energy, spiritual energy, worldly energy, a lion often associated with strength. Um, so the fool this way around is about really not having any idea of what you're doing, just being presented with a wonderful idea that comes from spirit or that comes from your real world. And then looking at that idea and applying your identity and your willpower to make it a, a reality. But you don't know what steps are going to be involved. 
Now in this case, it's in reverse again. So it puts the sun over his head. So your identity is already established. You're no fool. You're already working at something that you've chosen. You've already picked something that's important to you. This week is a very productive week, potentially. And if you stop yourself from being distracted and you keep things on an even keel today, you refuse to allow yourself to be kind of thrown off into chaos or you don't let your fears stop you or you don't become distracted with other people's problems or um, things that really take you off your path, then you have the strength to really move forward, the prudence to make good decisions and to harvest good things that are coming into your life as a result of your decisions. And you can really trust your own judgment. And this is not something new that you have to work on. So today is not about reinventing the wheel and changing directions majorly. It's about continuing on the direction and on the path that you're on. But really letting your identity run the show and really giving your power to whatever it is you're doing. That's what's going to help you the most. We're in the time of Aries still. And it's very much about pushing forward and taking your desires and translating them into the real world. So number wise, we've got nine and eight is 17 and zero is 17. One and seven is eight and eight in numerology is about power. So you've got the power and the strength and the prudence, which is a nice combination, wisdom, strength and power, all combined to help you move forward. Another productive day, another really good day to um, progress on your spiritual journey, on your journey through life and getting nearer to what it is you want to build in your life so that the external circumstances on your life, of your life, look what you want them to look like internally. So I hope you have a wonderful day here. It looks really, really productive, like you're in your element and you know what you're doing. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my readings, I use the tarot, astrology and numerology. And I combine all three. So the astrology chart is a blueprint of your soul. It shows me where you were in past lifetimes and why you've come back into this lifetime, what you're trying to achieve. So it shows me what your life purpose is this time around, what your vocational aptitudes are, what's destined for you in love and career and finance and health and spiritual progress, and also what's coming up in each one of those areas. So if you have questions for me, specific things that you want to ask, I can answer those for you in a personal reading. So just head over to gregoryscott.com. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.